check this out. Some chick is live streaming about the mayor. Alec just shot me a link. Alec? Yeah, you know, the guy from that thing. Shh, she's on. What's up, Lakeshore? Okay, so tonight's live stream will expose the corruption behind the no-nonsense for nonsense policy. Cute name, right? But there's nothing cute about what's happening to the people of this city. Look, we have inside information that will finally expose this administration and how they are the real criminals of Lakeshore. But first, do you like your mattress? Oh, shit. I think I hate my mattress. Yo, what would you say if I told you there was a way to make some cash besides racing? I'd say I like both my games. Nothing serious yet, but my boy Alec could be looking for a driver. Hold on, remind me. Alec is... Friend I rolled with from before. We were in the same foster home. Damn, you see the buy-ins on some of these races? We can't get that kind of cash playing it safe. There's gotta be another way. from Alec, he's legit impressive. Got a major hustle. Hustle? Gonna hit him up and see if he's got something for us. How come I've never met him before? You've never met my Uncle Choppy either. I got people you don't know, all right? All right. As I said, we came up in the system together. He looked out for me. Yeah, I know. I came through that system too, remember? You got lucky. 
I bounced around so much. Alec was there for me when no one else was. When I came to Rydell's, we drifted apart. But he called me a couple of days ago out of the blue. Out of the blue, huh? No, it's not like that. He saw us race and reached out. Look, he's good people. He can help us out with getting some more money. All right, all right, fine. I trust you. You know that. We're gonna kill it. is why you should never feed a possum ice cream. Somebody's gonna have to clean that up. <laughs> but anyway, for those of you who are just joining us, we're focusing on the recent revelations that Mayor Stevenson's sister holds a prominent role on the board of Waterside Construction. Yeah, the company that has been awarded the largest renovation contract in Lakeshore history. You know, I think it's safe to say we can file that under conflict of interest, right guys? On today's episode, I'll be looking at how this was allowed to go through without facing the public. Yeah, wait, why shouldn't you feed a possum ice cream? Yes. Yeah, we did, right? No one races during the day on Saturday. They save it for the big event. Copy that. Let's meet at the garage tomorrow night. Bring your A game. It's the only game I got.
Looks like Alec might be at the meetup. Let's make sure we impress out there. All right. Just locked in some more clients. Words getting out about this garage. Great. I'm happy for you. Happy for us? I wouldn't be here without you two. This garage isn't just a business. It's a family. That must be why we get minimum wage. There's a bunch of cars needing a tune-up. You game? Yeah, sure thing. Paying attention, what do you say? Do you know how many times I've heard the we're a family speech? Trust me, the only person you should be loyal to is yourself. Yes, quiet. Hey, Rondell. Hey, just wanted to wish you both luck for the big race. You got this. Thanks, Pops. Just remember, don't just say shit. Win shit. Win shit. That's right. Well, break it. No, oh, I'm going with this. See you back at the garage. What was that about? Maybe he's just trying to apologize. It usually starts with sorry. But that's just Rydell. He's old school. Yeah, old something. <laughs> Alright. Yo, looks like Alex here. Do your thing. I told him to look out for us. He was very interested in our car. So, let's not disappoint. Instead, I will not accept losing to you.
damn good. A few more tweaks and we'll be first next time, no doubt. That was such a buzz. Doing our thing, we belong out there. Born to race. We showed them we got the skills to compete. We gotta let Rydell know how we did. I can imagine his goofy face now, grinning with pride. Oh, shit, hold up. Alex calling. What up, fam? Yeah, impressive, huh? Little garage run by... I told you, bro. I don't know, like a bunch. A bunch of what? What, tonight? Yeah, you know it. Thanks. Peace. All right. What was that about? Alex gig. Wait, now? I, I thought we were going back to the garage. Transport job. Simple pick up and drop off. He's sending over the info now. We're not passing this up. It's our time, yo. All right, fine. Let's do this. I don't know, Yaz. This seems sketchy. What did I say about taking risks? If we impress this guy, we'll reap the benefits. But there's no second chances. Do you have any idea what ride we're picking up? Knowing my boy, something legit. Damn, yes. Nice. You take it. I'll drive out to the drop-off behind you. On it. We're keeping this little job between us, right? Ooh, don't mind if I do. location. Let's not wait around. For sure. I can't wait to see what this thing can do. Shit! Damn it! Jasmine, is this car hot? Uh, maybe. Let's split up. I'll meet you at the drop-off. Got it. Stay safe. No visual on a racer. Suspect just pulled a Houdini at University Central. I'm letting him go this time. Come on, Yaz. Pick up. Pick up. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Yo, Yaz, where are you? I'm at the drop-off and there's nothing here. Are you sure this Alec guy gave you the right address? Shit! Yes, the garage alarm just went off. Are you satisfied with this message? Screw it. Gotta get back to the garage. Thanks for calling Rydell's Rides. Call back during normal business hours. Shit. Yo, it's Yaz. Leave a message and I might get back to you. Probably won't, but I might. Shit! Where is everybody?
No, no, no. Shit, Rydell, you okay? They emptied a lot. Wait here. Shit! I knew it. I told y'all. Jasmine, who is that? I don't know that dude. Yeah, let's go. They just said your name. Right, Del, she was with me all night. Who did you tell about this place? I didn't. You didn't what? You didn't go to the Heights? Laugh about how trusting the old man is? Well, who's gonna trust me now? Hold up! Took your ass in when no one else wanted to. Whoa, Rydell, you gotta chill. Yes, wait! What the hell? Did she just take the car? Kia, she took everything. Hey, Rydell. Kind of dead again today. Oh, some little lady came in for an oil change. She didn't have any money, though. Just samosas. Yours is in the fridge. Well, I'm gonna lock up for now. See if I can make a few extra bucks on the side. Oh! I cleaned out the storeroom. And dude, you were right. It's a possum, not a rat. So... Yeah. He's still in there. Oh, hey, the book you ordered came in. Bro, if you ever need to talk, I'm here. I'll be in early tomorrow to open up, okay? Peace. All right. Who needs a ride? Rydell's rides. Need a lift? Hey, name's Jess. Heard you might be a good person to call for a cheap ride. I'll hit you with the address on where I'm heading. No sweat. Be there soon. I was like, yo, bro. And yo, check this, bro. He was all like, if you know, you know, bro. Then you know what I said? <laughs> bro! Yeah, hi. Um, Tess? Yo! Yo, 
I'm running a little late, so if you could, uh, you know. I got you. What? Do you have a pet chinchilla or like a a possum or something? Um, no. Why? Really? No reason. I'm just gonna crack this window. So, what's this address? Headed to this empty lot off the underpass. You know it? That was an old meetup spot for local street racers. Oh, you race? Or something like that. Anyways, cops have that spot pretty locked down now. <laughs> the scene's about to get a big shake-up from what I hear. Wait, really? Mm-hmm. If you know, you know. And I know, bro. So what's up? You're in the racing scene, but you don't have a car? We'll just get rides. I also like being on time. Yo, does this thing go any faster? Five stars. Great conversation. Eh, you should stick around. Might be worth your while. Oh, yeah, thanks for the advice. I've not seen this many racers in one place in a minute. Brought everyone back out. The love of racing, bruh. The need to express oneself behind the wheel. And money also. Yeah, probably money. I forgot how much I missed this. <laughs> I can see why. I'm gonna do the rounds, figure out what's up. Thanks for the lift, Speedy. That's my car. Yes? All right, all right, focus up. Let's go. I'm glad to see y'all showed up. How many years has it been, for real? The man cracks down a little bit and we all bitch out? I thought this was Lakeshore. I thought this was a racing scene. Flex in with your super tuners and your muscle cars. That guy. Woo. What's it gonna take, huh, to remind you why we got into this? Stacks. Nailed it. Three qualifiers, high risk. You have a run-in with the cops, you take them on. You make it, and I will see you in the finals. The Lakeshore Grand. You want to win? Then you had better be the best. Seven days until the first qualifier. Earn your place. Yes. Yo, Speedy, you still want that five star rating? Then show me what you got. Five stars. I got you. Unpaid jaywalking fines. You know, you can hit them a little harder. Can we do that again? Let this me dispatch. Felon just vanished at Douglas Park. All right, we need to find this prep right like freaking now. 2440 is out of here. I was sensing some hostility between you and Miss Monologue back there. That what you saw back there, that's my car that she's driving. Weird. Looked like her car that she was driving. She even had the front to keep the license plate. We thought right Dell here it is. Who? Oh, he, uh, he runs a garage. This garage? Is it nearby? I'm thinking now's a good time for us to get off the street. Yeah, no kidding. On it. So, gotta ask, was she always like that? Like what? Trying so hard. Look, that ain't the as I know, but it's been a while.
This is it. Rydell's rides. Not bad. I think he's a little work. <laughs> so, this is where Yaz started off, huh? Get the hell out of my shop! Wasn't me! Whoa, whoa. Kid? You triggered the alarm, sister. Hey, no touching. Sorry, this is Tess. I almost took your head off. Nice to meet you, slugger. Right, El. I saw Jasmine. She just rolled up at this meetup. You kidding? She still had the car. And she's still with that same crew that jacked our garage, setting up some high-stakes circuit called the Lakeshore Grand. <laughs> Corny. With our car. I need to beat her. I need the garage. I need your help. Slow down, kid. Now, let's say you do this, OK? And you throw down with Jasmine, and you beat her in a street race. So what? So what? That's what this garage was about. Now look at this place. We're fine. This yours? Didn't I say no touching? Mr. Rides of Rydell's Rides. Love that name, by the way. Full disclosure. I went to that meetup tonight looking for a racer. Then the cops showed up and I was like, cops? <laughs> oh yeah, and the kid was crazy fast outrunning him. Now, I'm thinking, learn from the best. Listen, I got what you need, cash. And you two got what I want, a reason to win. How about I make an investment in this garage, rep you in the race, maybe open some doors. Come on, Rydell. I can win. We can bring this place back. I'm in. Woohoo! Just promise me, no matter what Jasmine does, you do it the right way. Deal? Deal. So, Rydell, got any rides out back? Welcome to Rydell's Rides. <laughs> <laughs> I have some customers looking for a delivery that could help us earn some cash before the next race. Nice. Judging by this place, you used to race yourself. Oh, I sure did. Man, do I have some stories about the old days. <laughs> oh, I bet. I have you know I used to run these streets. Oh, so you ran? On foot, I see. That's what street racing was like before the car was invented, huh? <laughs> Why don't you worry about getting this team funded?
Want to catch up about the scene? Is this gonna be another one of those we did things differently when I used to race type of calls? Back in the day, winning wasn't a be-all and end-all. So it is one of those calls. I used to race against this real loud mouth. Funny, I can relate. Whole race just wouldn't shut up. So one day, I throw down some stacks, called them out, told them let's race for more than just bragging rights. How about next month's rent? Oh, shit. what do you do? Put his money where his trash talking mouth was. After that, side bets became the norm in the scene. Damn, Rydell. Remember, though, know your opponent. Don't be thinking you're better than you are. Fast way to lose a lot of money. Got it, Rydell. Thanks, boss. Appreciate you. Patrols joined in on pursuit of a suspect, dispatch. Suspect escaped. We just lost that damn perp in Underwood Gardens. Search the area. Suspect got away. Go Cruising.
running around the lake. Could you pick up a car for me? A Buick Grand National. They wanted to see how fast it can go with a real driver behind the wheel. You know any? <laughs> wow, the dad jerk energy is real today. Drop me a pin. Sure. A pin. Right. Send me the location. On it. And I'm pretty excited. The Regal from Hell. Classic 80s muscle. My pop's dream car. He called it the Corvette Killer. So you better make him proud. No pressure. Hey, Speedy. We've got six days to get into the first qualifier. Let's make some cash and pimp this new ride up to spec. I hear you. Oh, and I've been doing some digging. Sounds like the Grand is gonna be four stages, four different vehicles. Four? Uh, so you're gonna loan me the money for those as well? Why is it starting to sound like a pyramid scheme? <laughs> Speedy! Trust issues much? Did someone hurt you in the prologue of your life? Wait, you've been digging into me too? Nah. Game recognizes game. Don't worry. I'm working on scoring you a little side hustle. Maybe make a little extra something something before the next qualifier? So you're my manager now? Manager? Ooh, I like the sound of that. But I don't do pep talks. The only thing that talks in this world is money. So go make some. That I can do. Safe and sound. Now that's how you drive. Customer so impressed he said he would follow us on Insta. Do we have an Insta? Is that the coffee machine? Didn't Tess set one up? Where? In the kitchen? No, no, no. No. It's a social media account. Oh, right. That at Mr. Ride thing. Hold on. Look at in. There's a video of a dog skateboarding and people eating dumplings out of expensive sneakers. Okay, I'll figure it out. Uh, no, she, wait, hold on, she saw a dog skateboarding? Not the point I was making. Later, kid. Yo! I'm gonna do a little digging about Yaz and the crew she's rolling with. I have a feeling she isn't the only one behind the grant. Really? Wow, um, wow, I'm curious, what gave it away? The huge prize money? Maybe she's been giving rides to randos for cash in your car. Anywho, I'm craving boba. Peace!
You're listening to News Across the Lake on KRS-FM, the number one station. Coming up, more from our exclusive interview with Mayor Stevenson. I want to assure the people of Lakeshore that their safety is my first priority. Now, I know the increased police presence is affecting the day-to-day in Lakeshore, but trust me, I hear you. We are in this together. Some people think you're too focused on crime and not enough on the problems of everyday people. I would say crime is a problem for everyday people, wouldn't you? Just answer the question, Mayor.
AWD has arrived on the scene. Idiot driver alert! How you like them apples? We won't last much longer! Perp's vanished! Crap! That suspect just lost us at Douglas Park. That's it. I'm gonna find him.
Uh-huh.